Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. And just to be clear, these are public pictures. These are not personal photos. These are pictures posted publicly, and under fair use guidelines, we are allowed to use them for uh, exposing purposes and for um, documentary purposes and, and, and newsworthy things. Welcome to Warriors for Christ. Get ready for the truth from America's leading street ministry. This is Warriors for Christ. And here's your host, Rich Pinkowski. So most of you know, and again, I have been pretty quiet on this uh, uh, sort of truth, Eric Love scumbag, uh, and enough's enough. I've been long-suffering, I've been patient, I have endured, and uh, now it's time for me to do what I need to do. So this guy went ahead and tagged my 17-year-old daughter on Facebook today. And his excuse for doing so is blaming, saying my wife and I are using her account for, I don't know, something or other. Uh, meanwhile, that's just simply not true. We do. That's not true, huh, Rich? Well, shall we take a look? Shall we take a look, buddy? Let's go take a Let's see. Let's take a look here. We're going to go to Facebook, and we're going to look up a guy named Nicholas Torres. Nicholas Torres is a Calvinist who Rich and his group had confrontations with, um, along with his group along with uh, Mr. Torres's group at Dallas Pride several days ago. So this is a post Nicholas Torres made because Rich was making multiple posts about all these different Calvinist brothers and in regards to, you know, just basically trying to call them out and say that they're wicked and you name it. So Nicholas said, this guy is a false Christian and a heretic and was preaching a false gospel at the gay pride event with his buddies. That's all true. He was just there at the gay pride event to cause problems and call everyone names and just be hateful and slanderous with a tiny little bit of Jesus. That's true. Then he wants to go on Facebook and post about us and throw our Facebook page cover all over the place and talk trash about us and say things we never said and make fun of us. That is true. So if you are friends with this guy, I suggest you give him the true gospel or stop following him and donating to his ministry. I will post a clip of some of the things he said. And posted on YouTube from when he was preaching. Alright. So this is what he posted. And these are the comments. So we're going to open the comments up. Alright, here's the comments. Let's start at the beginning. So... Comment from Sal, comment from Priscilla, comment from Jeffrey Crago, which I believe Jeffrey was one of the guys who was out there. Uh, let's see, you got comment from Redeem Wretch, Will Dietrich, these are all guys that were out there. Eric Love, he says, hashtag don't be a Pekoski. Then you got Jeffrey Crago um, talking about how they play the victim card. Um, and how they have their you know hands out you know begging hands out for donations and trying to use a video to do so and he was spot on jeffrey crago was spot on of, of his observation of these guys and um let's see anyway so let's scroll down let's keep scrolling and then we get kim millard who made several posts now kim millard this gentleman is about, I don't know, I'd say in his 50s or 60s, give or take. He made several posts and showing how, you know, Rich is trying to basically just defame these guys and slander them. Here Rich says, and here we have the Calvinist who said, I deserve to be murdered, which they never said that. Rich is lying. You can go play the video, listen to the video. The video never says 
Rich deserved to be murdered. And he said, Edward Descanio is the guy... Um, oh, and I'm sorry. Edward Descanio was the guy they were speaking with. Or, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let me read that again. Edward Descanio was the guy that the Calvinist brother, uh, Torres, was speaking with when they claimed that he said that Rich deserved to be murdered. Oh, but then Rich says... Says, oh, he deserved to be stabbed. So right here in, in the in the very sentence, in the very paragraph or whatever, um, Rich says, first he says he says he deserved to be murdered, and then he says he deserved to be stabbed. Which basically, in a nutshell, what the guy was saying was, you reap what you sow. He wasn't saying, oh yeah, Rich deserves to be murdered. That's just a flat out lie. And then... So in, in, in this post, inside this post of Kim Millard showing this, Kim Millard has a comment, then Jeffrey Crago has a comment, and then Ariana Pinkowski supposedly comes in and says, see it for yourself. I hope you rebuke these liars who have been lying to you about this conversation. You're welcome. Yeah, that really sounds like something a 17-year-old child who has absolutely nothing to do with this would say, right? And then they post a link. Or then it's now it says, oh, the Christian believer says we deserve to get what's coming to us. So now it's now it turn it goes from you deserve to be murdered, which was a lie, then it's you deserve to be stabbed, which is a lie. Then it's you get you deserve what gets coming to you, which is true. You reap what you sow. If you sow or if you sow wickedness, you're gonna reap wickedness. That's just the law of the word of God. I mean, I don't see what's the big deal about that. And then this Ariana Pinkowski, which it's actually Rich and Amanda say i'll also private message it to you since these guys love to delete anything that proves they are liars like why would their little daughter in interject herself into this but this is what rich didn't show you in his uh selectively cropped and his selectively cropped um screenshots that he took and then this ariana pinkowski supposedly then posts this zero evidence so why is this 17 year old girl going on a grown man's Facebook page, engaging with all these grown men, if they're so concerned about their daughter, right? And I'm gonna show you a clip later on where Rich basically admits that it was him. So all I say is, he, now, Rich, now Rich frames this narrative, as you just heard, that I was tagging their daughter, like I'm just tagging their daughter randomly. No, I'm replying to her stupid comments here that says, hashtag don't be a Pinkowski. Then I say, then I tag a friend of mine, and then I say, Rich or Amanda, you are very sick to use your daughter's Facebook page or to create one to do your dirty work. I'm going to laugh at the day when she leaves y'all cult and exposes y'all for being the sick psychos y'all are. Shame on you, religious atheists. So because I did that, I called them out for using their daughter's Facebook page coming on grown men's Facebook page, posing as their daughter, I'm all of a sudden this pervert and, and, and whatnot. And I get people like this, part of Rich's ministry, sending me private messages saying, okay, I don't know what the problem is between you and Rich. Neither do I care, honestly, but you really need to help. But you really need to keep his kids out of it. These are kids, minors, and you are literally saving their pictures on top of that. No, I'm not. What are you talking about? Just believing anything that Rich says. If you even think about harming any of these kids, I hope you get raped in jail. You are disgusting. You are a pervert. It wouldn't surprise me you was a faggot either. Leave the kids alone, you faggot. I don't care whose kids they are. You stalk a kid in any way, shape, or form. You are a pedophile, and I hope they string you up in prison and hang you for it. You des you're disgusting, and you deserve death, Romans 132. This is Kaylee Holshauser. She is a follower of Rich Pinkowski. And that's what she sent me. So I sent her this in return. I sent her the little Rich Pinkowski at Mitzi's Gay for Greg Locke. I'm like, what? And then she says, You're a liar. All liars go to hell. So I give her the screenshots that I'm showing right now. Showing that they, Rich and Amanda, are using their daughter's Facebook page to do their dirty work. But you're not going to see these 
you're not going to see this from Rich. And his followers are so dumb and stupid, they're not going to go look into these matters for themselves because they're going to believe everything their cult leader teaches them and tells them. See, Ariana Pinkowski, Ariana Pinkowski, tagging men, tagging Kim Millard, a 60-year-old, 50 to 60-year-old man, and tagging him again, tagging Jeffrey Crago. But that's okay, right? That's okay for that 17-year-old to come in and tag men, baiting people in, laying a snare, laying a trap. That's exactly what these weirdos, these sick perverts were doing. And let's see, there's another screenshot, and then here's what I said. That's it. I mean, I'm just replying in the thread. It's a public post. This is not a non-public post or anything like that. So their lies are null and void. So I sent that to Miss Kaylee Holzhauser. Then I told her uh, to repent Jezebel. And I said, since you're harassing me, as several of you Pinkoskis are, I'll be sure to have my lawyer contact you. What is the best number to reach you at? And then she sends me two video messages. Get ready for this. Y'all love this. This is, this is one of Rich's, like, top-notch followers right here. She's on everything. And go ahead and have your lawyer contact me. I'm real, you dumb hoe. I don't care. <laughs> I'll tell him how uh, you're trying to you're trying to bait in little kids. Dumb hoe. And go ahead. Okay, it's already. But I'll give you my number. Okay, it's already three three six. None your business, you stupid pedophile. I ain't giving you my number so you can harass me. Are you kidding me? I'm not that stupid. <laughs> Man, you full of crap. <laughs> but I'll give you my number. Okay, it's already. She's not that stupid, but yet yeah, she's doing all this and knowing I'm going to screenshot it. But she's not that stupid. With her little micro braids. Then she says, retard. Ever heard of privacy settings? You ain't gonna be able to tag me, so you might as well give up. You're such trash. Calling me a retard, and she don't even know how to, and she don't even know how to string together a complete, um, you know, proper grammatical sentence. I mean, that was just pathetic. I said, "How is Wally World treating you, Wigga?" She says, "Why?" And I, I mean, I'm sorry. And I say, "Why are you harassing me? Where is your husband?" She says, LOL, dumb N-I-G-G-E-R. I say, racist. She says, uh-oh, I found a snowflake who doesn't know the real meaning of the word N-I-G-G-E-R. She said, it's a word that describes people like you, ignorant and dumb. It's not a black word. You're the one that's racist if you're associating that word with the skin color. Anyways, I have my fun making, I have my fun making fun of such a piece of work like you. I bet your wife enjoys being married to you. She does. Does she know you're a pedophile? I'm not. Lord rebuke your wicked spoken word curse. I said, well, all of Tennessee will know how much of a racist you and WFC is. I'm about to make you famous. She says, make me famous then, you dumb hoe. Don't forget to mention the rest of the conversation. You, the one stalking my friends like you're in Antifa or something. The one coming to me, harassing me, says I'm the one that's like Antifa. Okay. Then I just give her a couple of gifts, telling her she's digging herself into a hole. So, anyways. Then we get... Let me see. Well, I'm not going to go in my inbox. You can see everyone. I have one of, their, uh, one of Amanda's cousins. He reached out to me, too. He was cussing me out. Saying all sorts of wicked stuff. But anyway, so yeah, that's... Um, that's... That's the context of what happened all right here they rich and or amanda came on this post with amanda's or with rich's daughter's facebook page starting the trouble but you're not going to hear that from them how convenient repent you reprobates if you even can i doubt it and by the way when somebody does damage control there's nothing to, uh, for me to control because nothing happened. You're upset because I caught you tagging my daughter. And of course you lie and say, well, you know, you're abusing it. Even if I was, so what? That has nothing to do with anything. It's abusing it. My daughter. And of course you 
lie and say, well, you know, you're abusing it. Even if I was, so what? Of course, you lie and say, well, you know, you're abusing it. Even if I was, so what? That has nothing to do with anything. It's my daughter's account. I can do what I want. But, of course, you lie and say, well, you know, you're abusing it. Even if I was, so what? That has nothing to do with anything. It's my daughter's account. I can do what I want. That has nothing to do with anything. It's my daughter's account. I can do what I want. That has nothing to do with anything. It's my daughter's account. I can do what I want. You see how that works? But again, you see how that works? You see how that works? Sure do. But again, it doesn't matter. Facebook Christians sit around and watch actual Christians do stuff. Okay, so this is the post Rich made um, after I called him out, called him and Amanda out for using their daughter's Facebook page to lay a snare and lay a trap um, for me or for the Calvinist guys, whatever. And they are actually, you know, smart and didn't even engage, which was probably the best thing to do. Um, but nonetheless, it's still wicked and wrong that they would be the ones using her page, come in and like a busybody post, you know, post uh, the links and whatnot and then cry wolf. You know, the, I'm sure you guys have heard of the story about the boy who cried wolf. Well, that's exactly what Mr. Pinkowski is. He is that boy. He's that fat boy who cried wolf. So here he's posting. He says, um, let's see. I can't wit. He can't wit. <laughs> yeah, he can't. I can't wit for the damage control, this sick bastard. Now, when he's calling me a bastard, let me say this. He's not saying that in a biblical way. He sang it in a cussing way. So he's a railer, and of course he's got a filthy tongue, filthy communication, because he's got a filthy heart. So he says he can't wait. He can't wait for the damage control this sick bastard is going to make about me, full of lies, and justifying his stalking of me and my family. Remember, my daughter is 17, and he lies in his comment to make it look like my wife and I are using her account because he knows how perverted and predatory he is. That's such a lie. This is the pervert who is tagging my oldest daughter's account and justifies it by saying we are using it, which you are. This guy literally watched all my social. Well, actually, it's the other way around, judging by all your screenshots. I don't watch all your social, but one, I do have people that alert me to things, Rich, like you calling me a pedophile on Parlor, and I have the screenshot for that, and I will include that in a different subsequent video as well. Um, <clears throat> watches all my social media accounts, watches my wife's, and now he watches my 17-year-old's account. That's a lie. Why are you using your 17-year-old accounts, uh, her account, to go comment on other people's posts? The spin is real and trying to justify his obsessive stalking of me and my family for two solid years. Hasn't been two years. Every word out of his mouth is a lie. He has made videos and stated my wife makes pornographic videos. I have not stated that she does. I said it's possible she does. And we're going to show that in a different video, Mr. Rich, because, you know, praise God for the Internet. So, anyways, uh, I think we were looking at the pictures. Yeah, I'm sorry. All right, so he has made videos and stated my wife makes pornographic videos. Well, you're right. That is a lie. I never did say that. Has stated that I abuse my seven-year-old. I'm assuming you're talking about your daughter. And actually, that, Rich, I did repent of that. And I removed that video. So you're lying now. Because I actually did repent of that. And I actually did remove that. Where, as you haven't removed anything stating that I'm a predator or a pedophile. So guess what? You can't get me for defamation. But I can definitely get you for defamation, buddy. Has made hundreds of hours of videos. Oops. Has made hundreds of hours of videos about me. Has never met me. Doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. This guy dro even drove to Tennessee and took a picture in front of the abortion mill I preach at just to make it known he was there. So what? Let me, let me say this. I can't take picture or video of um, an abortion mill that I went and shared the gospel outside of. I can't do that. And, of course, he, d he doesn't give the full story about that. The full story was, Richard, that me and my brother in the Lord... We're going to the, um, what was it, the uh, presidential debate that was in Nashville. So we went to the presidential debate that was in Nashville. And then 
the next morning we went to the abortion mill there at uh what's that called uh Carafim. we went to the abortion mill at Carafim. why because well it was only 10 minutes from my hotel and then after that me and my family we went to uh kentucky to go to the ark so we had a whole trip of it. He makes it seem like, though, he paints this picture that I went, I drove all the way to Tennessee to just take a picture outside of Carafim. What a loser. I mean, th this guy's an idiot. He's an idiot. He's dumb, and if you believe anything he says, you're dumb too. You're retarded, you lack the Holy Spirit, and you're probably not born again. If you follow him and you're yoked up with him, you're not born again. Or you're a babe in Christ. That's about it. He says he has ads that pop up on his Facebook for children's underwear and bondage gear. He made a whole video about it. And then claims his wife, his Wi-Fi must have been hacked by his neighbor. Well, the reason I suggested that is because I don't know. But even in your video that you did, when you were reading what are the different reasons certain ads might show up, it's not just based upon... It's not just based upon what you're looking at. It said it's based upon your location and other factors. So one, one, it was it was one of those wicked Chinese things that always shows creepy stuff, and you know this, but you're stupid and you don't want to tell the whole story. You want to paint this picture like I'm some sicko when I'm not. Two, my wife has purchased children's underwear online. Why? Because we have three children, but you know, I guess he forgot about that. But no, he his because his mind is so depraved, he just goes to the most depraved reason why. Number three, yes, we have sodomites who live right across the street from us. So that's a possibility. Number four, I'm in Atlanta, and Atlanta is sodomite central of the south. So of course stuff like that could show up. Am I saying that's why? No, I'm not. I'm just saying these are other reasons stuff like that could show up because it's not just based on your search results you dummy number five i had friends like you on facebook who search up and talk nothing but about pedophilia and homosexuals and all this wicked debate stuff so that's another way stuff like that could show up but you know this guy's an idiot though and i already made a vi i already made a video and a post showing I had about 30-some, 40-some different ads show up of stuff that have absolutely nothing to do with anything I would be looking up, like video games and other things of this nature. But again, you guys allow this narcissist to paint this picture of me because, well, you're stupid. I'm going to say it. Yes, you're stupid. Lori Adams, you're stupid. Sherry McLean, you're stupid. Aunt, uh, Amanda Pinkowski, you're stupid. Bernice, you're stupid. Aaron Guidry, you're stupid. Um, Adam Joseph Nelson, you're stupid. Anna Waymeyer, you're stupid. Kaylee Holshauser, you're stupid. Drew Silvernail, you're stupid. Uh, what's that other chick's name? Uh, Drew's wife, you're stupid. Who else? Uh, Bruce, you're stupid. Eric Painter, you're stupid. All these people who are associated with Rich. Adam Bishop, you're stupid. Ruben, you're stupid. You're all stupid because you don't question this guy. And that tells me you don't have the Holy Spirit because if you did, one of you would be like, hey, man, uh, you're getting a little wacky with this stuff and you're not really proving a whole lot. So could you please prove what you're saying? But they don't do that. Why? Because they all have their own hidden motives. They all have their own hidden motives. And guess what? That which is done in the darkness will get brought to light, you see. And it's coming to light right now. So... Um, this is sick, obsessive stalking. There's no way anyone can claim otherwise. He calls himself a Christian, but as soon as my name is mentioned anywhere, there he is. Oh, like he knew right here in the video. He knew right when I was going live. Watch. Like literally. Fault. At least when I got arrested. It's of the actual, okay? Just simple as... So again, this just exposes the wickedness and the perversion. Make sure you understand the men and women that you're following. Look at the behavior. Yeah, yeah look at this behavior. Is there fruit? Or do people just sit around look, all look. day, Slender? And again, mark my words. You can mark it here. This is not a prophecy from the Lord. This is not a thus saith the Lord. This just is simply my discernment because I know how these irrational... It's not discernment. It's called when you viciously attack somebody, they have a right to defend themselves, you stupid retard. Yes, I called you a retard because you really are. You really are. You do have the mannerisms and the mind of somebody who does smoke meth. You really do.
I was around enough of those guys in prison. I was I seen enough of it um, in general from different shows, you know, Breaking Bad, you name it. You have the mannerisms and the mind of somebody who smokes meth. Trying to work. Within a week or two, again, I don't know if there's suspension on YouTube. I don't know if it's for or not. I have no idea. And how does he know I'm suspended on YouTube if you're not following me, Rich? Yeah. Uh, but when it's back up, I guarantee you the first video is going to be about me. I guarantee you. There's gonna so I don't have a right to defend myself. I mean, don't you guys find that a little crazy, you rich followers? So he can just say whatever he wants about me and I can't defend myself? Wow. That's hypocrisy. It's going to be a series of videos coming about me meant to do damage control. It's not called damage control. It's called um, showing your false accusers that they're liars, which is what would happen in a court of law. Now, again, you'll see LGBT people make videos about me, like that one guy there. So nobody makes videos while well, he made a video. And again, they love this show, the whole, he's not known. Well, I don't really care about that. But Yes, you do. You, you so bad want to be known. But the fact that you make a video about me expressing the fact that I'm not known kind of contradicts that. But again, that's just me. Um, but it's not about being known anyway. I mean, they think that I'm one of these people that, you know, oh my gosh, I'm well known, C, C, C. I don't care. Yes, you do. You do it all the time. But just sit back and watch. You know, again, I showed you the first one's video and it was all lies. All of it was lies. If you hear something about. And you notice he, you notice on the, when he showed the video, he cut it off right before it started showing all the Greg Locks stuff when he kept saying Greg Lock, Greg Lock, Greg Lock, Greg Lock, Greg Lock, Greg Lock, Greg Lock. Like, why did he shut that all off? Why not let it play, Rich? Why not let it play? Not me. Ask. I have a chat function on my website. You can click it. You can ask. Look, look. He says, I'm doing damage control. Sure I am. Oh. Oh. About to go live. About to go live. <laughs> How would he know that? How would he know that unless he's unless he's watching everything I do? <laughs> what did I tell you? What did he tell me? Predators always got to do damage control. You That's what this was. That's what this video was. He's admitting it. See, what they do is the victimizer becomes the victim. So if you see something, I don't care who it's from, ask me. Hey, I heard this, Rich. Ask. You're going to see it. It's going to happen. Ask me. You can email me. Well, and here's the thing. If you guys don't think that people don't lie, then you're stupid. Stupid. Because people are liars. Especially warriors for lies. You can come to my Facebook and ask me. My Twitter's out there you can ask. My website you can ask. It's not like I'm not hidden. Yeah, it's kind of hard to miss him. Though he makes his cartoon character version of himself about 100 pounds lighter, go figure. I always answer those kinds of questions. If you hear something, ask. And then he lies. That's all. And if you're satisfied with my answer, if you're not satisfied with my answer, hey, you know what, God bless you, that's fine. At least you asked. Look, he's on it. See, he's on it. But I'm just curious. He's doing a video soon, See? I guess, live video. See, he's on it. How am I doing damage control by showing your channel? He's so stupid, he didn't realize I was damage controlling him. And what you say about me? See, the victimizer, just like the LGBT, wants to become the victim. Well, you have been victimizing me. Or whatever, you've been making me a victim, I should say. Yeah, you have all your wicked slander, Rich. So anyways, go back to this nonsense. All right. So... I'm sure he will try and defend his sick obsession with me and his three or defenders. And why does he always like it's he always it's always the numbers. Oh, he has three or four followers, his cult followers. <laughs> and then he says they believe me without questions. Talk about a cult. Yeah, that's actually you, Rich. His YouTube account is sort of truth, and you can see for yourself how obsessed this guy is with me. Just look at a few of the videos he's made about me. All lies. No, not at all. 
and look how many photos of me and photos he has turned into memes of me and pick okay he does the same thing let me, should i go find all the ones you did on greg Locke? because i know people who can give them to me so then look look at his selective editing though he makes sure he doesn't show all of any of the uh ariana pinkowski posts but just mine and then they they post this why does this creepy bald old man keep tagging me in his stuff i'm a teenager and he finds everything i do on the internet see that's that's how you know it's rich and even tags my name in his creepy videos to my dad this makes me uncomfortable because he keeps doing this to me and my little brothers and sisters and no see all eyes and has done this for a long time he takes our pictures and videos and saves them into his computer i have seen law and order episodes about people like this all lies all lies all lies and guess what this is how you know it's not her this is rich and or amanda judging by the fact that there's not really any spelling errors in here i would venture to say it's amanda but i could be wrong because maybe Rich made sure he cleaned up his ed, uh, his typing this time. So that way, um, no Bev Sues. No Bev Sues show up or anything like that. Or Bev Waz. You know, Rich and his wonderful writing, right? So you see, this is his selectively edited screen, screen grab. Because he wanted to make sure you didn't see... Let me see. Oops. Ha, 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 ha. Well, we'll go back here. So then he posts this. My stalker is literally now stalking my 17-year-old daughter's Facebook account. That's right. A married man with children is tagging my 17-year-old daughter's account. I'm sure he will try and spin and twist to justify sitting around watching my, my wife's, and now my daughter's Facebook accounts. This is sick. What kind of man sits around watching another man and his family's social media accounts? Oh, uh, you? I just showed you doing it, Rich. Hypocrite. How can any married woman be okay with a man who behaves like this? Amanda, how can you be okay with Rich who does this? Oh, because you do the same thing, you sick whore. My daughter is a minor, you sick freak. Go ahead and defend it, pervert. Okay. And then look look at this. He posts this on this page. Same thing. All lies. On a different account. He's got several different accounts that he's posting this on and resharing it. So Eric Love knows my daughter's style, knows her online activity, knows she's shy, but he isn't stalking my 17-year-old, right? No, Rich, I'm judging that off of your own videos, you dummy. This is the only, your 17-year-old daughter is the only one that ne ever shows up while you're using your children to peddle. That's right, you're peddling your children, making merchandise of your children, using them as bait to get money. People ain't stupid, man. People know what you're doing. We see right through you, wicked devil. And guess what? Your days your days are numbered with the Lord. The Lord is going to take care of you unless you don't repent. Or unless you do repent, I'm sorry. But see, here's the thing, brethren. Here's the thing y'all have to realize, too. The Word of God speaks about the wheat and the tares. And what we're looking at right here is an obvious tear. But it says let both grow together. Why? Because apparently a lot of you Christians, or so-called Christians, are dumb and stupid and can't see past this guy's activity. The reason I make videos about Rich and I expose Rich is because he's a liar and a deceiver, and we are to mark them. Why aren't you avoiding me, Rich? You don't avoid me. You know, I probably would have stopped this, Rich, but no, I found out you were calling me a pedophile on Parlor, And then you blocked me so I couldn't see it. Like, why are you calling me a pedophile on Parlor, Rich? Trying to hide it? That's okay. I got the screenshot. All your little pre predators and pedophiles, all that's going to the lawyer. So, Rich, this is your last opportunity to repent. I'm giving you one last opportunity to repent. If you don't repent, Rich, you are getting prosecuted to the fullest. And guess what? I'm going to keep making videos exposing you. This has just begun. Because you want to lie? Now we're going to prove, once again, every single lie you've told to be false. Because you wanted to play? Now we're going to play, little boy. I'm going to treat you like the little boy you are. You're going down. May the Lord rain down his fury on you. And I'm going to share a few scriptures and end this video for now.
All right, so here we go. Let's go to First Peter. Let's go to First Peter. And we're going to start, let's see, verse 8, chapter 3. Finally, be ye all of one mind, having compassion one of another. Love as brethren, be pitiful, be courteous, not rendering evil for evil or railing for railing, but contrawise blessing, knowing that ye are thereunto, not therein, <laughs> I'm not even going to go there. Ye are thereunto called, that ye should inherit a blessing. For he that will love life and see good days, let him refrain his tongue from evil, and his lips that they speak no guile. Let him eschew evil and do good. Let him seek peace and ensue it. For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and his ears are open unto their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. And who is he that will harm you? If ye be followers of that which is good, but but and if ye suffer for righteousness' sake, happy are ye, and be not afraid of their terror, neither be troubled. But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts, and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear, having a good conscience, that whereas they speak evil of you as evil doers, they may be ashamed that falsely accuse your good conversation in Christ. For it is better if the will of God be so that ye suffer for well-doing than for evil-doing. For Christ also hath once suffered for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but quickened by the Spirit. By which also he went and preached unto the spirits in prison, which sometime were disobedient, when once the long-suffering of God waited in the days of Noah, while the ark was a-preparing, wherein few, that is, eight souls were saved by water. The like figure, whereunto, even baptism doth also now save us, not the putting away of the filth of the flesh, but the answer of a good conscience toward God, by the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who was gone into heaven, and is on the right hand of God, angels and authorities and powers being made subject unto him. Amen. That's right, rich for the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and his ears are open unto their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. The Lord's face is against you, Richard Pinkowski, with all your lies and all your slander. Here's some more. Rich claims, I have a stalker, literal stalker, who slanders my family and I almost daily, has caused my, has, has a cause to my wife of making porn, has stalked my 17-year-old online, literally watches all my social media accounts, lies and lies and lies about me constantly. I want to watch God throw guys like this into hell. Wow. That's the love of Christ, isn't it, Rich? That is so, that is so the love. Christ. That is the love of Christ right there. And then he made this. Let me see if I can find it. Then he made this. I hope God lets us watch him throw our slanderers into hell. I really want to see that. Well, let me see what Jesus had to say about that, Rich. When James, when James and John and Luke 9.55, um, well, let me back up. So, in Luke 9.52, uh, you know what, I'm going to go to 9.51. And it came to pass, when the time was come... That he should be received up, he steadfastly set his face to go to Jerusalem and sent messengers before his face, and they went and entered into a village of the Samaritans to make ready for him. And they did not receive him because his face was as though he would go to Jerusalem. 
And when his disciples, James and John, saw this, they said, Lord, wilt thou that, that we command fire to come down from heaven and consume them, even as Elias did? But he turned and rebuked them and said, Ye know not what manner of spirit ye are of. For the Son of Man has not come to destroy men's lives, but to save them. And they went to another village. You hear that, Rich? Ye know not what manner of spirit ye are of. You are not of the spirit of God, you are of the spirit of Antichrist. And this right here, unless you repent, will be your fate, Rich. You will be surrounded by fire. Unquenchable fire. So, if it's possible, which... I don't believe it is, but I'm not God, so I can't say ultimately. If it's possible, I pray you and Amanda Pankowski repent. And any of you who are yoked up with them for Romans 132, if you don't repent, you are as guilty as they are and are in line for the same punishment that's coming to them. God bless. You've been listening to Warriors for Christ. Biblical. Bold. Truth uncompromising we take the bible literally teaching and preaching truth without any preconceived ideas america's leading street ministry with the goal to wake up the church and to fight back against the wickedness in the world we hope you've gotten some useful and inspirational information from the show make sure to like rate and review till next time we are warriors for christ I was told, you know, that you're always a Pankowski. You know, I, I don't know if that's trademark, but don't be a Pankowski. Don't be a Pankowski. Don't be a Pankowski. Don't be a Pankowski. I'll be watching.